Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to write a cover letter for Schengen visa. Cover letter is one of the very important document when it comes to applying visa for Europe. So please keep watching. The first is the two section. We have to address the letter to the visa officer and specify the embassy to which you are going to apply for visa. When I applied, I applied for France Embassy, so I have mentioned the same. If you are going to apply for different embassy like Switzerland or Germany or Netherlands, just mention that here. Since it is a formal letter, we also have to write a subject. Keep it as simple as possible. Next, you have to specify your name as in the passport, your passport number and why you are writing this letter and which are all the countries you are going to travel as part of your uh, trip and then from when to when you will be staying in Europe. In my application, I mentioned as France, Netherlands and Belgium. If you are going for only one country, just mention that at or if you are going for multiple countries, mention all of the countries here. If you are traveling alone, you can skip the next part. But if you are going to travel with your spouse or kids, then include their detail in a tabular format. Why tabular format? There is no specific reason. Just that it is very easy to read. You do not have to provide many details. Just provide name their passport number and how they are related to you. Uh, so most of the uh, Schengen visa gets rejected because we are unable to convince the visa officer that we will be returning back to our home country after our trip. So if you are going for a tourism purpose, you have to mention that and also you have to provide additional details like whether you have visited any other countries recently and how frequently you travel, whether you have visited Europe in the past or if you have any plan to uh, visit Europe in the near future. Everything you have to mention in detail. Do not skip this part and do not keep it simple. Just explain as much as you can here. Uh, provide some more personal details like where you are working, uh, where you are living, what is your designation in your company and what is your annual salary. While specifying uh, uh, amounts in INR, please also specify them in Euro. And then list down all the bank accounts that you are having, what is the type of the bank account and how much balance you are holding in each account. This is very important because this is a proof that you are having enough fund in your account to travel to Europe. If you are having any credit card, do mention about that as well. So for credit card, you can mention the monthly limit in INR and in Euro. Uh, it is very common in India that uh, at some places they do not mention our surname, but in the passport, we will have first name and last name. If there are any discrepancy in your name, explain that in this cover letter. So next, give the summary of your travel. When you will be arriving in Europe, what is your port of entry and when you are departing from Europe, from which country you are going to depart, which are all the countries you will be visiting, how many days you are going to stay in Europe and in which country you are going to stay the longest. We are mentioning this longest stay because you are going to tell the visa officer why you are applying from that particular country. So for Schengen visa, you can either apply from the port of entry or in the country where you are going to stay the longest. In my case, I am applying in France because I am staying uh, for 12 days out of my 17 nights in France. So I am choosing France as my embassy. Here I am explaining since my first port of entry and longest stay is in France, I am applying through France embassy. And if you have purchased URL pass to travel between Schengen areas, mention that as well. If you have already paid for your accommodation and flight, 
explicitly mention those details. I was traveling with my spouse and all our bookings are made using his account. So I am explaining that in the payment receipt, they will be finding only my husband's name and only in the guest name, they will be able to find my name and my husband's name. So this is just to avoid any confusion when they refer my uh, documents. In the next section, I am giving a detailed itinerary and I am highlighting all the places where I will be staying in France. Refer my other video if you want to know how to create a detailed itinerary. Next, list down all the supporting uh, documents which you will be uh, enclosing with your application. This includes Schengen visa application form, passport, original and a copy of the passport pages that are having stamps, your both to and return flight tickets, hotel bookings, uh, your appraisal letter as an employment proof, no objection certificate from your employer, your three month salary certificate, three months of bank statement with stamp, last credit card statement if you are mentioning about your credit card, and travel insurance is mandatory for this visa. If you have any rail pass, then attach the receipt and pass for those as well. If you are traveling with your spouse, then you have to attach marriage certificate and provide a copy of Aadhaar card. And then you have to write a declaration that everything you have mentioned in this letter is true. And then mention the name, mobile number and your email in case if visa officer wants to contact, then they can use this personal information. Thank you for watching.